I have this 14 inch wreath ring and I'm going to paint it using some Wise Owl Snow Owl. I just wanted it in a lighter color. Once that dried, I found this yarn from the Dollar Tree. I have it in a dark green. It's an eyelash yarn. And I'm going to glue one end down and just wrap it around my wreath ring. I did this several times. And once I had a good portion of it covered, I'm going to cut that end off and then glue it down in place. The next color I have is in a red. They had really pretty colors and they're calling it an eyelash yarn. Found it from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to wrap that on top of the green several times until I was happy with the coverage. I'm going to cut the end off and then adhere that down with some hot glue. And the last color I'm going to be doing is this nice light tan color. And I will wrap that around several times as well. And I just love the look this gives. I feel like it's different, but I also love the colors that they provided. And then I'll glue that end down right in the center here. Next, I have these string lights. You can also find these from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to string it starting from the back side of the wreath and just go throughout the yarn using the outer edge as my guide. And I'm just going to string them until I have no more string lights left. I'm going to flip it over so the back side is facing up. I have a piece of wood that I'm going to glue in the center. And then I'm going to take the battery pack and glue that onto the back side of the wood. I'm also going to add a hanger off of that as well. Now you can still change out the batteries even though I glued it down. I have this Santa head, it came from Walmart, and I'm just gonna glue the side of his hat down a little more. And then I'm going to glue the back side down onto the center of the wreath. I have these vintage looking bells. I got them in a pack from Hobby Lobby. I believe it came six in a pack. And I'm going to take three of them and using a piece of jute, I'm just going to tie the bundle together, having them stagger at different lengths. I knotted this a few times to make sure that it was nice and tight. And then I'm going to hang it from the bottom of the wreath ring. So I flipped it back over and using my handheld stapler, I'm going to staple down the jute onto the back side here. And I thought this came out really cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.